Here is an image of a rectangle with rounded corners. Since I have already created the borders in the sprite editor, resizing the image doesn't change the size of the edges. Sometimes you need different sized rounded corners. In that case, we sometimes use a new image like the screen you see now. However, using a special method, you can change the size of the rounded corners without adding a separate image. I'm going to duplicate the image with a corner size of 20 pixels. Let's change the number of pixels per unit multiplier among the options of the image we just duplicated. You can see that the image looks like the image with 10 pixels rounded corners. In this way, you can change the degree of rounded corners by adjusting the number of pixels per unit in an image. However, it is not easy to apply this method to all images. For now, we've used a filled-in rectangle image, but let's see how the line image will change. By changing the pixels per unit multiplier value, the line thickness also changed. Increasing the number makes the line thinner and vice versa. Although not in all cases, this method avoids an unnecessary increase in the number of UI images. As stated in the previous tutorial video, it is mandatory to use an image with a power of 2 pixel count. However, sometimes you need an image with dimensions outside of power of 2 pixels. The image I'm showing you right now is an example. This image has a width of 1000 pixels and a height of 600 pixels, and is stored at about 3 megabytes when built. This is over 7 times the capacity of its original size. Let's apply this image to the UI canvas. If so, how to solve the problem of changing to a higher capacity compared to the original size? The answer is to make a rectangular image into a square shape. Let's change the size of the image. I'm going to match the width of the image with the height. So that number would be 600 pixels. The image is distorted left and right, but don't worry. If you import the image you just saved into Unity, you will see that the size of the image is automatically converted to 512 by 512 pixels. However, if we change the texture type of this image to Sprite, it changes back to the original resolution and the capacity increases. And if we change the size to 512 with the compression setting, we can see that the capacity is much reduced. Now let's apply this new image to the canvas.
There is a slight difference in quality with the rectangular image sample, but it's not too bad. By forcing a rectangular image into a square shape, you can save storage and memory usage while maintaining quality. However, images that are too long are not suitable for this method, so it is recommended to apply Sprite Atlas after separating the images. Thank you. See you next time.